Hello everyone, I am back with another video. Today's video is basically going to be my newborn to six month um, essentials. Things that I use, things that I swear by, things that I've bought myself that I use every single day and things that she uses every single day as well. So I just feel like this will be kind of like an interesting video for all of the new moms or moms to be out there. When I was pregnant, I would always look at these videos and get like some type of idea on things that I may need for my baby. And I've had a few things that I don't really use anymore. Um, but these are the things that I use, I swore by, I swear by, and um, just overall products that I really love. So basically the things that you need, I'm going to go, I think I'm, I'm going to try to go through like stages for those moms that are breastfeeding. Um, the pump that I had was the Mandela Style Pump. It came, comes with a bag, a pump, a few bottles, like I think four bottles, like an ice pack and a bag. And then it comes with the actual pump itself. And this is really great. Um, I was using the hand pump that they gave me at the hospital for like the first three weeks and my hand was getting cramped and I felt like I wasn't getting enough milk. And as soon as I got my pump in the mail, I was literally able to pump, I think four ounces the very first time I used it. And it has a slow setting and a fast setting, but that was the best pump that I use. You that are breastfeeding as well. Um, my baby, she had a super small mouth and I started having such painful uh, feeding sessions because her mouth was so small but she wasn't getting latched on the right way. So what I used was the Mandela um, nipple shield and I used the 16 um, millimeters. I think that's my 16 millimeters. They come in different sizes. Uh, the 16 was the best one that fit me because it was just small enough for her mouth and it was perfect. You also want to have nipple pads. I used the Parents' Choice nipple pads. Um, you can use any brand. And these are all the things that I use. So I'm not going to like say, oh, I recommend this. Well, some things I do recommend, but uh, the breast pads, any breast pads, I think will do. I use the uh, linoleum cream. It's a natural product. It's safe for your baby, and it soothes in and protects sore nipples, so you don't have to wipe it off when it's time for you to nurse. Um, so, on to bottles. I use the Avent Phillips bottles. Um, I use the Avent Steamer to sterilize the bottle and it's something that goes in the microwave you put the bottles um, around it and then you add water and soap or whatever you want to use put it in the microwave and steam it another thing that i swore by and it is a bottle warmer it lights up in 90 seconds and i use this for my milk but the good thing about that is um you can have it on your bedside. You just add milk, or you just add water in it, turn it on, and then add your um, your your bottle. You definitely want to have a wipe warmer. Babies do not, a lot of babies, especially mine, did not like cold things on her. So a wipe warmer is something that I kept right next to me as well. I still use it, and she's almost six months old. A diaper genie is definitely recommended. It seals the poop or urine smell. Um, you, it comes with bags and you can get bags to fill it up. I also really, really love Munchkin on the go disposable diapers. It comes with a clip so you can just clip it on your diaper bag. I really like those because it seals really good and you can just throw them away whenever you're on the go. First, pacifiers. Um, there's so many different pacifiers out there. The ones that I use for mainly because they're cute and she enjoys them. And I have like five or six. It's the Itsy Ritzy pacifiers. They come in different colors. And I am a little ridiculous, but I do choose the um, pacifier that 
fits her outfit, the clip. Um, it comes, well, you can buy it separately, and I get the Itsy Ritzy from Target, the Itsy Ritzy stuff from Target, and you can also get it on Amazon and the actual website as well. But I use the clip, and it's like wood balls and then silicone balls, so it acts as a teether as well. Um, all of these things that I mentioned about having bedside uh, stuff, you can you need to have a basket on your bedside. I don't think no one is going to want to get up in the middle of the night and go get all of their essentials. So having a basket of some sort next to you, water, whatever you need to get you through the night is you need to have a basket um, on the side of you. And there's so many different ones out there. I always have one and I would keep like four or five diapers, my cream, my nipple shield, for me and for the, the um, bottle warmer. And what else do I used to keep? I think that's pretty much it aside from my ice pack for my breast milk bottles. If you're breastfeeding, I know this is a sensitive topic. Um, me personally, I, I used a cover up when I was in public or at someone else's house. Um, that's my personal preference. It's something that I'm not going to get into, but they have nursing covers. Um, use for me, I had the one that was um, a multi-use one for some strollers have nice compartments. Mine didn't have, mine only had like the cell phone compartment and the cup compartment. So I bought this itsy ritzy like caddy that uh, velcros onto the baby stroller and it has like three, four different compartments where you can put a bottle of water, her water, the bottle, your phone, your wallet, anything, hand sanitizer. Then it has like a zip for like personal things like money or whatever the case may be. I really, really, really love that and I have it in this exact um, color and it goes perfect with our aesthetic because her diaper bag is that um, peanut butter butter color as well. I forgot to mention when in the bottle section, I now, as she's learning how to hold her own bottle, I use the Dr. The Dr. Brown's um, colic bottle. It's four ounces. It's small enough for her hand. And the glass, the glasses were too heavy, which is why I use them for her. But now that she's older and she can hold them herself, um, I definitely recommend those bottles as well for babies that's starting to hold, hold their own bottle. Um, right now, I don't breastfeed anymore. And so I do use formula and I use a formula um, I guess holder dispenser you just add however many scoops of formula in each little compartment and then you can take that on the go throw it in your diaper bag or use it on your bedside as well dump the set amount add your water and call it a day super 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 duper easy um, something that I used early on is Grab Water. Um, baby had a problem with gas and her digestive system was thrown off track for like the longest time. And I was recommended by my mom to get Grab Water or Malachine Drops. Um, both work good for her. However, if you're more on the natural route, I would recommend Grab Water. That's like the best and to get vitamin D drops you use the drops every single day you definitely want to get a monitor I use the beauty tech monitor it comes with a monitor and it also comes with the camera and the camera you can like swivel it and then hook it pretty much anywhere um, the places that I use it on is her crib or like Something that I've used maybe since week, since month one, was the Little Remedies Stuffy Nose Kit. Um, 
her nostrils were too little for the suction that they gave me in the hospital. So one night I noticed that she acted like she couldn't breathe and I wasn't sure. And her nostrils were so small that I couldn't even like look into it or even try to pick it anyway at all. So um, we got these drops for her and um, a few drops. She only needs about, or they only need about two to three drops in each nostril and she was able to breathe just fine. Uh, the next product that I use every single day, and this is a highly, highly, highly recommended because she has Bailey has sinuses. Um, she has blisters every single day. Not, uh, it's not every single day. So, her product that I discovered at Target, on my little Target run, was the Frida Baby. And I recommend the nose pickup, especially if your baby has a super small nostril. Like, she hates getting her nose clean, but it is super effective. And the nostril, the nose picker is like a little curved, little pick. So it really gets in there. And like I said, her nostrils are so small. So it really helps me curve and get into there really, 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 really good. I definitely recommend that and some of the things that she plays with is and I have this right next to me so that's the, why I want to show you but it is this um, little gem thing and I got this off of Amazon it comes with a bunch of different little toys sound holders rattle um, different things like that and you can take these off can take these off and add it to their car seat and they can play with it like that's when she was turning three months and that's when they're starting to reach and now she's like fully playing with it pulling it making different noises with it and that's really good I recommend that as well um, one last thing that I have recently purchased maybe a month or so ago is this white noise machine um, I recommend just buying their white noise machine versus using your phone and your iPad for the white noise because it a runs out the battery B if you want to listen to music or if you want to go out of the room or you want to use your device you have to leave it there it comes with so many different sounds and I love it I use it every single time she takes a nap in her car seat when she needs to relax and go to sleep and it really does block out the noise so she can't hear anything even if I go in the room or a car rides or something like that she can't hear anything. Now I have been giving her cereal for the past two weeks introducing her to some cereal and my her pediatrician recommended that I give her cereal with a spoon instead of putting it in her bottle. So because aesthetic, um, I like wood, wooden things. I think all of her toys and everything like that is gonna be wooden. That's the whole thing. Um, that's the aesthetic. But I use this Smile Nightly wooden spoon and bowl. I love this product. It's the last thing. It is a baby carrier. It really helps with bonding, doing skin to skin with your baby, holding them without having to have the carrier or anything like that. You can wear your baby and walk around a house and get so many things done. So I highly recommend this product as well. I got it from Amazon in the taupe color. All of these things are what I use on a daily basis. I'll probably do another update from like six to six to nine months to nine months to 12 months, I'll probably do another update on what I use. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and please like, subscribe, and share this content that does help my page a lot. And I wish you guys love, light, and prosperity.